What's up, y'all? It's your boy Cuddy. We back at it again with the S3, man. Today we're gonna be putting on some carbon fiber mirrors. Um, I've had them at the house for like two months already, and I just been putting it off because we've been getting other things that are just kind of more cool to make videos about. Um, so today we're gonna put those on. It's not gonna be the longest video in the world. Just straight to the point. It should be pretty easy. I just gotta pop the mirror off, take some clips off, and pop the new ones in. Um, but it should give us a new look, you know, because right now we have color match mirrors and they're kind of whack. So we're going to throw on the carbon fiber, kind of switch it up so we can break up the colors and so it can match like the rest of the car. Because everything, I have carbon fiber everywhere and I feel like the mirror is the only place where it's really lacking. So we're going to throw those on today. Hopefully they look fire and I'll show you guys how to do it as well. All right guys, so there's a the car. You see we got the stock mirrors here. Honestly, like I honestly like them how it looks right now, but I think the carbon would just break it up a little bit better. And actually on my stock mirror, I do have a scratch. Um, so I've, I had it when I got the car. So at least when I put the new ones on, I can get rid of this and it'll be a nice clean look. Um, but we should see, it should be pretty easy. Um, I just gotta pop off some clips, uh, pop off the mirror and we should be all good to go. Um, I believe I do have the heated mirror, so I'm gonna have to unplug those. Um, but that's about it, should be really easy. All right, so I'm gonna bring you guys inside the car just because for this, we do have to move our mirrors all the way to the right so that we can actually get our hands behind there so we can actually pop it off. So when you get in here, just put it all the way to the right. And then for that side, it would be all the way to the left. That way it gives you some space so that we can actually put our fingers behind the mirror and pop it off. And just make sure that when you're doing this, you're applying even pressure so that you're not breaking the glass because it is glass, so it's, it can break pretty easily. All right guys, so for the next part of this, you're just gonna move your mirror backwards so that you can actually access it a little bit easier. So you just pull it back and you can rotate it around so you have a little bit more room to work with it. And then we'll get to popping off this glass so that we can actually get behind the mirror. All right, so I'm gonna apply even pressure here. I'm gonna put my fingers behind and I'm gonna put some pressure here so that we're not just peeling one side to where it can snap. See, and just like that, it's all out. Just be careful when you're pulling this out. There may be some more back there as well. Just apply some pressure here on the top. And we can get this out nice and smooth. Feel a little bit of resistance. There we go. Now the mirror is out. And so I do have the heated mirrors. So I'll show you guys. With the heated mirrors, there is a blue and a red. So when you take these out, just make sure that you put them right back where they were before. So it'll be blue on top and red on bottom. There are some clips in here that you can see. There's one right here, and there's another right there. And so we should be able to just put this screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver in to unhook these clips. There's one right there as well. And then uh, we could peel off the, not peel off, but pop off the mirror cap. All right, so I got the mirror off now. No tabs broken, as you can see, they're all intact. Um, and see, I do have the side marker, so we do have to take these out. So there is a plug here. It's a really easy plug to pull out. We'll just pinch it here and then you can pull it out. And then we'll switch it over into the new mirrors. So I got the mirror cap off now. And I did want to mention that if you have the blind spot assist, you will have this light right here that you'll have to unplug. And when you're taking it out, it's a little bit tight in here. Uh, in this little area right here. So just kind of pry it out. Obviously be gentle so you don't break anything, but uh, you will have this to switch out into the new mirrors as well. So to take out the light itself, all you have to do is push this little side tab, it's just a little clip, and you'll pull that out, and then you just wiggle it out, and then you'll have your light out for your blind spot, and then we can put it into the new um, mirror cap. All right, so this is our new piece, the new carbon fiber mirror cap, and with this light, it's a direct fit. I'll link the actual mirror caps that I bought in the description so you guys can have it if you wanna go with this brand. Um, so you just put it in, and you just snap it right back into place. And that's it. And now we're all good to go right back in. So I got the mirror on, but I just wanna let you guys know, when you put it on, make sure you don't have the light in the cap, because if you have the light in there, it actually won't go on because there's a tab in here. Um, you guys can see it right there. That tab gets blocked if you have the light in and you won't be able to get the mirror on. So just make sure you move or take the light out and you can plug it in afterwards and push it in. 
So I got the mirror back in, you just push it in, it's really self-explanatory, you put it right in the same tabs that you took it out of. And so I'm just gonna do the other side and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, so we got the passenger side off, but I did exactly what I told you guys not to do. And it was to be too aggressive on it because the mirror will break. So it broke, um, it's not too expensive to replace. I already ordered one, it's no big deal. Um, so just be careful when you guys are doing this so that you don't end up like me. Um, this is the only part that can really go wrong and it went wrong. So I gotta show you guys my ups and my downs, but it's all right. We're gonna put this on and we'll get finished up with the rest of the install. So we're all done with the install now. Uh, you guys can see that I did make the mistake of being a little too aggressive on that mirror. Uh, in the moment, I was really upset about it, but I mean, at the end of the day, you have to learn somehow and sometimes you gotta learn the hard way, you know? So everything's replaceable on these cars. I'm just gonna buy a new mirror. It'll come in, we'll fix it and we'll forget this ever happened. Um, but at least it happened in the video for you guys. So you know exactly what could happen if you're not too gentle with that mirror. Um, but I'll show you guys what it looks like and let me know what you think.